In August 1933, the Soviet Army obtained an amphibious tank T-37. Although the tank had weak armor protection, it was still a decent equipment under the technical conditions at the time. The 3.2-ton tank was operated by two people, and the small-sized turret contained a 7.62mm machine gun. Earlier than the T-37, the 19K 45mm anti-tank gun appeared. This artillery, derived from the German 37mm gun, was able to deal with most armored vehicles in the 1930s, except for heavy tanks. This series of artillery was also used during World War II. Based on these two pieces of equipment, the Soviet Union proposed a new combination, which involved modifying the structure of the T-37 tank to install a 45mm anti-tank gun, creating an amphibious, self-propelled gun. This was essentially a light tank destroyer known as the Su-37, and later modified versions were called Su-45. The T-37 tank was only 3.75 meters long, powered by a 40-horsepower gas AA type four-cylinder water-cooled gasoline engine. It had two pairs of small-diameter load-bearing wheels on each side of the vehicle, with the drive wheels in the front. After being modified into the Su-37, the power system remained unchanged, but there were some differences in the suspension. The first prototype vehicle remained unchanged, while the second prototype was modified with an additional pair of load-bearing wheels due to the increased weight. The original small-sized turret of the tank could not accommodate the 45mm gun, so the turret was directly removed and the front compartment of the vehicle was expanded to mount the gun along the central axis. There was also a 7.62mm DT auxiliary machine gun. The crew still consisted of only two people, with the driver positioned on the left side of the gun, doubling as the gunner, and another member on the right side, possibly serving as the tank commander, loader, and machine gun operator. The gun had a general range of angle adjustment, with an elevation angle of 8 degrees to 25 degrees, and a horizontal adjustment of only 30 degrees. The main gun carried 50 rounds, and the machine gun had 1,000 rounds, the original T-37 amphibious tank had armor thickness of 9mm around the vehicle body and the turret armor was 6mm thick. The Su-37 extended the armor box on top of the vehicle's armor using riveted armor plates, possibly with the same 9mm thickness as the T-37. The first prototype vehicle left a good impression on the military committee as it achieved mobile anti-tank capability on such a lightweight tank, aligning with the Soviet Union's mechanized army building concept at the time. However, the committee still proposed some modifications, which were reflected in the second prototype vehicle, including the addition of an extra pair of load-bearing wheels. The new prototype vehicle was called the Su-45, which appeared in 1936. It had a crew of three, with the driver moved to the right side of the gun, allowing him to focus solely on driving the tank, while the gunner and loader could each handle their respective roles. The efficiency of a three-person crew was evidently higher. However, the new self-propelled gun immediately encountered problems. Its weight increased to 4.6 tons, which was clearly too much for the 40-horsepower gasoline engine, making the transmission and clutch unreliable. Additionally, while adding one crew member, the interior space was not expanded, resulting in narrow and difficult operating conditions inside the vehicle. During the same period, the Soviet tank industry made great progress, and the BT series of fast tanks with 45mm guns were being mass-produced. The Soviet Army believed that tanks with rotating turrets were more suitable for combat than the turretless Su-3745, and as a result, abandoned the project. The Su-45 self-propelled gun had a combat weight of 4.6 tons, a length of 3.78 meters, a width of 2.234 meters, armor thickness of 4 to 8 meters, and a crew of three. It had a maximum speed of 40 kilometers per hour, a speed of 3 to 4 kilometers per hour when driving on water, and a maximum range of 230 kilometers.